Hey Aries, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I use and how to contact me for my services and personal readings in the description box. Let's see what we have going on with Aries for the second half of July. Let's see. Okay. We'll be moving into a fiery season. So it will be better for you than the Aries seasons. Let's see what we have going on. Um, wisdom, movement, choices, and wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, somebody's coming forward here with a huge offer here. It may feel like it might be something that you want or be from a person you want or this is somebody new coming into your life. This is because you've got a lot of love for yourself. Um, people are being drawn towards you. It's it, This love for yourself came, you know, via a lesson, wisdom here. This is the Hierophant. You still have some things to learn. Um, I feel like don't get comfortable because <laughs> you still have things left to learn here. There's a huge choice that you will have to make coming in the second half of July. Let's see what's going on here. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys. It is a general reading. I do personal readings. Like I said, my email will be in the description box. Okay, Aries, second half of July. The old bottom of the deck is nine of swords, seven of wands here. Somebody is really um, having sleepless nights over this situation. If it's not you, because I feel like the nine of cups came out for you. So you'll be um, feeling yourself, feeling much better and stuff during the fiery season. Getting back to like the old you I'm feeling here, whereas somebody definitely feels that, you know, they're starting to feel anxious with that without you here the world card for you this could be um a soulmate relation that you feel is over done with here um yep there's the soulmate underneath two of cups um the hanged man it may have been a spiritual catalyst that taught you so much with the hierophant um they're spying on you okay <laughs> i would just like you to know it's not over for them they're spying on you eight of cups here they regret walking away and this is saying um they didn't realize you know how much love they actually had you know for you here this is somebody who now regrets it they may have felt like you know i i can do better without you and that sort of energy but now they're realizing how much they actually loved you ten of wands the tower and Hierophant for them now. So they are now experience a tower moment and a lesson. It may be that when the tower moment actually happened, they had something to rebound onto and didn't feel it. So hanging out with friends, other people and like, yeah, I'm fine. Um, you know, but really now they're starting to feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. This is the, the divine pressure in them to, I guess, wake up. We've seen the hangman at the bottom of the deck there. So they are really being pressured by the divine here. Um, and of course, cross watchers, if you're watching for an Aries, this might be um, the Aries being pressured here. Um, you know what happens when things are put under pressure? They turn into diamonds, right? Um, what to say? This person, they need to learn to say no. Uh, so it might be that they are always, you know, saying yes to going out with friends and yes to doing that overtime at work or yes to meeting somebody new. And they le needed to learn to say no. Um, they took the hard route here. We can see them doing the hard work, walking away, it getting harder and harder and harder and this leading up to the tower until eventually the tower. So they did everything they possibly could to avoid feeling anything for you um that, so this is the divine reminding them seeing your name places uh you know things like that you popping up all sorts of things walking past each other the divine will orchestrate all of this um to build this pressure on them and it's because they need to you know 
either stop putting on a show and putting on a front for other people they need to learn to pick these you know say these healthy nose i always call the 10 of wands healthy nose because sometimes even when we're doing good for people um you know we're taking on too much for ourselves this person avoided feeling anything for you until this pressure was mounted and mounted and mounted on them until they're forced to look and realize you know you're walking away from love you're searching out there for what you feel is your ninth cup but you keep walking away from love here this is like being asked to be accountable look at your own actions here you carried all these sticks and built this tower you know you had a perfect tower here you carried the six and started a fire so be accountable for these actions this is what the divine is trying to get them to look at with the hierophant here um meanwhile up top you seem to be like i learned my lesson i'm sitting pretty <laughs> you know and they are now struggling so it's like the tables have turned um maybe you once felt this right if you you know you both fell out the tower here but maybe without trying to you put the hierophant first you put the lesson first and this person is putting the lesson last it's like you did it opposite here that's why i said the tables have turned let's see prince of pentacles yeah they were dragging their feet they really didn't want to face this pain um two of pentacles and the alchemist that's the magician in the normal deck there so it, it may be that you either feel attached to them still or they won't leave you alone they keep messaging or something like that coming towards you here um slowly wanting to commit to a relationship so this is somebody maybe emotionally immature um you know like a grown-up that acts childish so here i feel like you know if you was what's a grown-up that acts childish then um you know if when you want to communicate they fly off into fits of rage if things don't go their way you know they threaten to replace you with somebody else all sorts of childish things um, could have been said and done in this situation with this person but they're looking for a new way and that's a good thing right we don't want to you know always say to people hey shame on you but we want to you know encourage when they're on the right path and you know ignore negative behavior not ignore it if it's happening to you in your house but you know um, walk away from it we want to encourage positive behavior. This person is taking little steps in the right direction. Um, little steps forward are better than no steps at all, right? Um, this person took a long time to come towards you here. It's like they thought the decision would be theirs. Like, okay, this person will come back to me. And they'll come asking me. But because you didn't go asking them, you felt the downfall. You felt the pain of the tower, the pain of the separation and learnt with the higher event first. Um, now the decision is in your hands. So it's like two of pentacles for them, two of pentacles for you. You're mirroring each other. They just are a bit behind, a bit slower with that knight of pentacles energy there. So they're looking for the easiest route. But actually looking for the easy route is taking them, you know, a longer route. And this is why it took a longer time to come forward. Trying to avoid doing the work or feeling anything was definitely the longer route. Um, King of Cups, they'll be built up and matured into somebody who's actually ready to give and receive love. Not just receive love and be babied and things don't go your way. They're being built up into this King of Cups. Uh, they're being grown up uh, by the divine here, by life lessons. That's the tower. It's life experience. Um, for whatever reason, they needed to grow up. And this is what will happen to them now with this experience. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, where you, you seem you might be getting offers from multiple people you might just be enjoying the attention and offers and focusing on your finances here or you know your calling your path throughout life but you also it's it's i guess for you you you're glowing up but they're growing up <laughs> um it's, it's very difficult to choose the right words that you've you've been on the same path you know you've been growing too but if you people kind of take that in a negative way right growing up so 
but it's something we all have to do at some time or another. Prince of Swords here and their actions admittedly was reckless. Um, I feel like they may have even told you the truth. They could have even said some harsh truths. Um, but in the end, the truth came out and the truth set you free here. So I see with this night, nights are about action. So this person is now taking action, wants to be with you here. Let them grow up first, I will say. If you want them back, let them do the work and growing up first. Um, it'll serve you because if you have to downgrade, you won't be able to pull them up, but they will be able to pull you down. Okay, let's see here. Worth waiting for divine timing. Is that work in your love life? Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. This person is coming forward, wants to flirt with you. If this is somebody new coming into your life and you're recognizing red flags, stop it here. Be honest with them. You know, immediate action needs to be taken if this is somebody new. Um, because we do have the alchemist for uh, somebody manifesting and the decision being yours. Okay, it's okay to stand your ground. That makes you more attractive, your self-worth. Staying in that nine of pentacles energy um, that, hey, you know, um, I like truth. I like honesty. I like loyalty. And this person can be all of that if you stand your ground and not accept the first thing that, you know, comes your way. Waiting isn't a negative thing, you know. It'll be worth the wait here. Pay attention to the red flags. That's what I was saying, right? Um, if you see them, say them, accept them. The signs are cautioning you here. Okay, let's see. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here. Okay, so if you did go through this experience with the tower and, you know, um, putting too much into somebody or even regret walking away from somebody, free yourself from that energy, right? That time has gone. It can never come back. It doesn't mean you can never be back with that person, but the time surely can never come back. It was to gain wisdom, strength, knowledge here. Now free yourself from that and take immediate action in the direction you want to go. Good luck, guys.